Everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2, Part 4. I believe. <laughs> How you guys doing? Nice to see all of you. Had a really good time streaming this all week. You guys might know I'm a pretty streaky streamer. What I mean by that is sometimes I stream a lot, sometimes I stream a little. <laughs> and uh, I think it's going to remain that way. If I get really into a game, I'm going to stream a lot. If I need to pull back and do other things, I'm going to do that. So thank you guys for being patient and cool and kind and all of that good stuff. You're also going to notice that you might hear me chewing just a little bit. <laughs> uh, I didn't have any time to eat. I had a busy morning. And, uh, and then uh, I just sat down and finished a, an XCOM recording. And it took a long, much longer time than I anticipated. So now I have uh, grapes and coconut, which is like over the past two months became my new favorite snack. If you've never tried grape the and coconut, howls. let me tell you, you're missing out. Tread carefully and quickly. This is swine country. This is swine country. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll get going here. We'll get going here right away. Uh, how you guys been? How, have you guys been playing a lot of, uh, a lot of Darkest Dungeon 2 yourselves? I hope we still get to see some new stuff. This area is new. It's Lewis. We've never been. Uh, there's no map. It says Swine Country. That's probably not good. Don't let the flame expire. You know what? I'm actually considering uh, whether or not this run is successful at the mountain. I'm considering uh, trying to do a run that's like all dark. Like trying to put out our flame as much as possible. Not sure if I want to wait until it's in full release or get it now. Yeah, that's fair. I've really enjoyed it. I don't know how much extra content there is. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff to unlock. And we did see a lot of new enemies this go around, so I'm very curious to see if we get to do a third run, what kind of enemies we see there too. Been playing at load, still figuring out the optimal composition. Sweet. Um, for anybody that has a higher level profile than mine, which is mine's only six here because we only had the we only did one run, and we got all the way to six, which is good. Do you still are you still seeing new stuff? Like, are you still seeing new enemies, uh, boss fights? Uh, all of that kind of stuff as you progress, even though it's in early access. What's up, Des? Welcome. Awesome Finbro says this game, even in early access, is pure gold, and I cannot wait until it gets polished and done. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty polished as is, but I, I know what you're saying. I'm curious to see what. Like, what they feel is going to be the end state. You know? I think, um... I think one of the things that they'll do is add a lot more, um... Uh... Like, area modifiers. We've seen uh, quite a few repeated ones already. Just, like, choosing our area, what we're going to go to, and then what, like, the specific challenge is and what the negative is for that area. New trinkets, new heroes, not sure if I've seen new enemies. Okay. Yeah, and we know that new trinkets and heroes are gonna are gonna show up because we see those in the profile. The enemies, this second run was definitely a lot different than the first in terms of enemies, so. Sluice rhymes with juice, not Lewis. Oh really? It's just pronounced the sluice. I guess that makes sense. It just feels weird. Okay. Guys, let's rock and roll. Let's have a good day. Let's have a good one. Okay? Let's go. Buckle up. Oh my god, what? A 
gleaming endowment. Come on, bro. What are you doing? Why? Zach. Brother. Come on, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. That's so generous. <laughs> Chad, she goes, what a Chad. <laughs> what a Chad. Uh, I gotta turn my lights off. Hold on. Yeah, that's better. So, if you guys don't know, I play on, um, I play on an OLED screen. And this game just looks phenomenal. Like, it's so nice. Like, the black is black, black, you know? That's super nice in a game like this. Zach did not have to do that, man. Thank you so much, dude. That's incredibly kind. An academic study. Full okay. of the forbidden and the forgotten. So there's still random stuff. We just don't know what it is. Do we tell him plague rhymes with hag or do we keep that quiet? Okay. So real talk, Junior Matthew, listen up. Okay. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's part of where I'm from Western. I'm from Western Canada. Okay. And you talk to people out there. And you get them to say words like bagel, flag, uh, plague, hag, uh, bag, you know, uh, all of those words. <laughs> they probably sound really weird to you guys, but that's just how it's said where I'm from. And I can't, I can't break that. That's just how, I, that's just how I developed over the years. No ensconced gems, no glittering filigree, no interest. Avoid, avoid, avoid. What? Now this is still something with these academic things that we run into. I still don't know what's, what what triggers them and what doesn't. Uh, the very first one we ever saw, nothing. And then we were kind of able to interact with them, have some random stuff go down. But now again, nothing. So. You're also from Western Canada, Samantha? That's sweet. Where are you from? Oh, look at this. Okay. Why is one blue and why is one Onward, yellow? While there is still time. One blue, one yellow. Let's go. Oh, I bet you this is a safe road. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a safe road and this is a, a not safe road. How much money do I have? I actually have quite a bit. Let's take the safe road here. Uh, there was a patch. The swine were first reported by denizens of a small Ooh. hamlet nestled on the western coast. So there was a patch and all, all that it was was um, something about reducing like party chatter and stuff. So a lot of those interactions that you would see, I think they've toned that down a little bit. Swine! Give me a boost here. No boost? Well, we're definitely gonna fight. I mean, we could just end the stream right here, probably. We're not. Be careful. Hastened enemies, so they're all fast. Oh, they got the stealth. Okay, okay, okay. Now, hold on a second. Don't we have somebody with, like... Yeah. Okay. So, after this fight, we need to unlock Hearth Light here so that we can remove stealth. There's only one guy here. But still. So yeah, so Blight's at 40. I mean, let's try and remove some of these dodges. At least. You could try comboing that guy in the back. It's not as efficient. There's only one target there.
So I think these things are going to reduce the amount of those that we see. Because we got that double attack, we got both of those removed, which is pretty huge. Uh, burn is pretty low. Slow suffering begins. And they blight also. That's fun. Oh yeah, Yop can remove Yop can remove stealth. That's convenient. It's actually the only thing I have available. Otherwise I might not have noticed that. It's Yop. Get yopped. Okay, so this guy was just about to check their death blow. Seems like doesn't exist, so that's nice. Okay, what's going on today? What's going on today, guys? Deltar, what the? F Holy smokes. Big love from Switzerland. Thanks for the great content. Ready to teach you French via Zoom if you're willing. <laughs> oh god, I should I should take you up on that, honestly. I should. Thank you. That's very kind, you guys. Thanks. Okay, so he's dead. That's our super block. See, if they didn't spend so much time diddling around with their invis. Might actually have done some damage. Jeez. Messy. But effective. Wasn't even messy. Okay, we have some laudanum here. So let's go into Nemesis. Skills. The whispers. I think I'm going to get rid of run and hide. I'm like almost never using this. And we'll turn on hearth light. Uh, combat skills. Bandages. Buff bleed resist. I think I'm going to swap that with the laudanum that we just got. We have three salves. We'll cap that out at four. If we get lucky, um, it would be really nice to find a hospital. Uh, New Tech, this is interesting. New Tech says, Christopher, I'm going to take a guess. Uh, you're not accessing the academia because you don't have a scholar science character in your party. Um, we've accessed it with this party in earlier parts of this run, so I don't think that's it. Good guess, though. Now, uh, we have that trinket. Couple trinkets, actually. This 50% blight resist in this area seems like it could be good. The 40% HP could be good. I think we're going to go for cultists and see if we can get another uh, dark impulse. My theory, again, again, I'm totally, I don't know, totally could be wrong. I probably am. My theory is that it's item-based. Like, kind of, I, I keep thinking, you know, the curios from the first game were all item-based, right? But I don't know. Imagine a trinket that allowed another slot to have an ability. So you'd have an extra ability. I'd be okay. I would actually like to see a hero that has a skill that reduces the amount of skills you have, but adds a trinket slot. I think that would be cool. Could be quirk based. Could be quirk, could be items, could be characters. I don't know. Okay, so debuffs, moves, nothing. And flame. Alright, well, that seems pretty obvious. Let's 
to like what the items are thinking. It's driven by trinkets equipped or combat items. I'm thinking it's equipped by combat items, maybe? Because those combat items are very similar to things that we've seen in the first game. Uh, you could use bandages on curios. You could use um, holy water we've seen in this game. Although we've never used it. So, yeah. But again, I'm probably wrong. I'm just speculating. Okay, so dog is gone. Let's start swinging. A gleam endowment. Oh, that actually perhaps. landed. One of them did. These guys have extra death blow resist. Does that mean even these little flying babies have it now? No. These guys have 20. Okay. John, thank you so much, man. 10 minutes behind, so shut up and take my money. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to get to the Jester today, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully our profile is high enough. Um, let's play grenade this. Now, we have the um, the vulnerability trinket here as well. So we put that here so we can hit multi-targets. This will at least get rid of dodge. Mistimed. Yes, okay. It's done that. Great job getting rid of the dodge. And you know what? I'm going to try the... I'm going to 50-50 this smoke bomb. All right. I mean, that's... We tried. It's coming in hot next. We're going to get crit. And there's nothing I can do. Uh, we don't know who she's going to attack. Probably our front line. We could add dodges here with absent. I think we're just gonna get some damage out. Oh, he's she hit both. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that's also that's also a good option. This is a lot of bleeding. We also have some stress. Do some stress reduction here. Company. And we can buff those resistances. Trinket heal. Beautiful. Love that. Love to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close. Alright. So they're on death's door. They probably die next time. Steady yourself. That's a super bleed there. Uh, our Plague Doctor, I think, can heal next. Because we'll remove the bleed as well. And the crit heal. Dang. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull us forward a bit here. Oh, was she carrying the loud enough? Yeah. I'm going to remove that horror, but... Come on. Variable can make all the difference. The 
slow suffering begins. Get this beat on here. Rough. Okay, Nemesis can probably take this front line now. Are we going to be here for three turns? Yeah, we might be. These guys have a lot of evasion to deal with. I guess I'm not going to... If I'm not going to deal with them, getting rid of their evasion is useless early. Lesson learned. Who's got the killing blow one? Right here. So we're going to assume she dies. I'll wait till these guys get under half. Man, that trinket just heals at all the right times. Oh, I've got bandages I'm sitting on too. Jeez. Let's do that. We get a little heal off that as well. Okay, let's go, Sniffles. Okay, that's... That's great. Good job. Thanks for trying. I wonder if, if they burn out due to a dot that was applied by Nemesis. I wonder if that counts as on kill, getting an extra action. Probably not, because it's on their turn, right? This one's dead. Probably get one more stress reduction in here. I have to assume this one's gonna die. I have nothing else better to do, so we'll take it. Um, I don't think the Hellion has, um, has skills that ignore death blow. Uh, the only one I've seen so far is the Highwayman, and at max upgrade, it's 30%. So. There is comfort in company. I don't think the Man-at-Arms has it. Okay. Well... Do a little smoke screen, set up a combo finally. So now we got this. I got this. 30% to crit. She's also got like the super crit going. So 96% to crit with the thrown dagger. The 18 health. 3 to 8 damage versus 4 to 10. 96 to crit. I mean, it could be massive. This could be just as massive, lower chances, but then you get the, the dot damage as well. I think with vulnerability, let's put as much damage in as we can. Oh! What? <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. Let's taunt here. He has the blind as well. This is the longest fight of all time. There you go. Writ large. The means of Get some masteries. Burn resist, 25 HP. There's our dark impulse. That's awesome. The loathing. What's up, slowly, A sniff. Welcome, guys. Okay, so I'm over encumbered for one thing. Debuff enemy move resist chance to daze. Interesting. I'm gonna get rid of that one. The sharpness charm. Now. We've seen some blight here, but 
Who do we put this on? We could do big blight resist, or we could give a big HP boost. But like, we have to use up both slots. So I'm trading damage here and that heal that triggers a lot. I'm trading big crit damage here. I'm trading damage here, which honestly doesn't feel that good, to be fair. But then again, like, I don't think extra HP on the runaway is going to feel that good. And then I got Sniff, where I like having the speed. And in theory, the Starving Dagger is a good idea. So... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If I was going to tank anybody up, it would be Hellion, right? Or Hellion. Let's just take a look at what it is. So she's at 43. She's up to 60. I mean, that's no joke. That's... That's no joke. That's a, that's a true tank. That's a true tank. That is a true tank. <laughs> I got to get her healed up. So maybe this hymnal's not I'm not I'm not using that I'm not getting that to trigger very often. Probably because we don't have it on the right person, but I think what I might do here is put this in so that runaway can heal 25% of the time. I don't know. I'm gonna feel I'm gonna feel it. I'm gonna feel it out. I'm gonna feel it at maybe we'll maybe we'll switch it. I don't know. I'm just trying to use the I'm just trying to use the cool trick combos, you know. But we might end up uh, not doing that. Um, I already have a disarming dagger, right? So I don't need two of these. Yeah, I want to save the damage in case I go back to it. Uh, probably get rid of the bleed resist. I might still use like a sacrificial host. On its own. At last, respite within reach. Yeah, damage and the and the kill triggering thing on on the Hellion could be nice too. I agree. Uh, death blow zero on all these guys. This guy's dead. So like that 20% extra damage there makes that almost uh, significant Early difference. Results are encouraging. This is good. She's under 50% now, so I can heal and remove this. Little help impeccably timed. Uh, what's next for you guys? Another impediment Ooh. cleared with impunity. Cleared out all of our positive progress. Great. <laughs> um, there is let's get at least one company. of these in. Drop the stress here a bit. A nice, conclusion. nice. A kind. A B E A. Beautiful. Oh my God, Decay! Thank you for the donation. A dime for the doom. That's actually a great band name. A dime for the doomed. That's sick. Thanks, Decay. Thank you so much. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well worn This is new. Relics. Ranged attacks, 20% damage. 
That's our first one. Almost tempted to use that here instead of the disarming dagger. I like I like that when stuff is consistent, you know. And even though it's only boosting like a small amount of damage, it's not bad. Obviously, I could go here, but I think the crit makes a ton of sense on this on this hero. crit so much more frequently but she does have more ranged attacks although the one we use is only two to five damage and this is three to four so it's kind of similar i'm gonna do this i'm gonna keep this this huge hp for now and we'll see mold can go bread can go. What's up, Insider? Welcome. How you doing? Your character's still crushing, by the way. Okay, the, the sluice actually was not too bad, and it's very short. Much shorter than all the other sections. Rest now for a time much shorter okay we got peacemaker extra chance of affinity changes positive that's good bon vivant let's knock one back enjoy what life has to offer obsessed with death and what lies beyond the mortal coil and then punch drunk and you got bon vivant as well and have punch drunk that's that's suspicious i think we're at the mountain we're still not at the mountain so i wonder if um i wonder if the sluice is just kind of a filler area nemesis your character's doing great also i will say uh, of this of this group i feel like i'm most underwhelmed by this class even with the upgrades don't get me wrong like burn is burn is nice it's great it's awesome but um yeah i don't know she's okay maybe in certain groups she feels a bit better maybe she maybe she feels a bit better there conventional fare but fairly priced um okay let's 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 spend our in items first so that we free up our our stuff increasing maximum hp to the next in i kind of want to save this till the till the inn right before the mountain Um, is there anything I want to clear here? I probably should have used the stitching kit. Can these stack? Nope. Two targets. Strength buff. Minus one stress. Chance of positive or negative. Let's try it on these two. Oh, this is blocked by Peacemaker. Gotta love that. This is blocked as well. And this is blocked. Okay, cool. So, uh, we're not going to be using boxing gloves. Extra speed. Tell the next in. Again, I think I should just save it. Same with this poultice. Okay, so maybe I'm not going to spend a lot of these here. Rest. 
Precious relics remind us of he doesn't a have any relics I want to buy. Produces flapjacks. The griddle. And the ice box. I mean, I might regret it, but I, I feel like we don't must need be to have that. If it is to carry you where you must go. Okay, so let's do these instead. I just, okay, so emboldening vapors is great. The challenge is, when am I going to use that? Every turn, almost, I'm looking to use ounce of prevention until it's off, and, unless it's on cooldown. And then a battlefield medicine when people are hurt. And then a plague grenade if there's four people on the on the enemy side. And if there's not, then I'm using a noxious blast. So, like, I almost feel like, when am I going to use that? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I could maybe boost uh, one of these. Extra taunts and removes winded. So, we could use the yop. And not worry too much about it. And then we could go into toe-to-toe. -to -toe so I can remove the winded. This will stun when the target has the combo as well. I could just boost my daggers as like an extra option. This gives us the super dodge on absent. And if I upgrade Hearthlight, um, that can remove our, our blinds. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a... I'm not certain. I don't think I'm going to take... I don't think I'm going to bother upgrading this. That extra 5% is not as powerful as I'd like it to be. So let's do this. We'll upgrade the Yop, and we'll upgrade the Toe-to-Toe. -to -toe. That's fine. The wagon's good. They're healed up. Uh, I'm not going to use any other in items here. So I can't use the Boxing Gloves. I'm going to save all of these other buffs for the final in. Spend what you can. Well, wealth no longer has meaning. The if only thing I would consider buying did. here be laudanum. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the sacrificial host. I'll buy these the two. tools of violence, despicable Ooh. and dangerous. Chance of purging a negative quirk there. That would be good, actually. Should have bought something first, so I didn't have to get rid of it. But here we are. I'm gonna ditch the dagger. That was a definite misplay. Missed the mark. So 10% chance to start with the blind. Leadler, kept klepto, and nervous. It's all bad. Punch drunk, minus 5% crit. Punch drunk, head injury, and bad digestion. So I think we go here. Didn't get it. That's a hard life. Okay, so we need to go to hospitals now. Listen. Practice. Improve. I think we go healing ways. Keep the flame at plus 40. We can try that. Stun resist, I'm going to not worry too much about. And we get some decent hope here. So. Power relationships? Pretty solid, actually. Sniff's good with everybody for now. Nemesis is great with Sniff. Okay with Insider. And Insider is a uh, little problem there with Stu Wu. But yeah. I don't think I've forgotten anything. So yeah, this is what we're doing. 
going to the tangle. Trenches and tents. We're gonna look for the uh, hospitals. The we have some money. Never fought. We'll try and keep the torch high, which we generally try to do anyway. Now, is there a way to see our progress, like the the overall uh, progress towards the mountain? Or not so much. It does feel like this second run is much longer, but I don't know. What's up, Warlock? We have once again entered the tank. War. Rewards only. We got a tower right at the start. That might be good. So basically we want to hit um, hospitals and assistance encounters. See if you look back in our in our history here. Let's see how many there are. So this is our very this is our game start, right? You come to this end, this is basically, you know, this is all kind of nothing beforehand. That's your first in. Restart the game. Go through your first area, second in. Third area. Third in. Four. So I think after this. We're probably at the mountain, I guess, so five. Um, going to the tower only reveals the question marks. We have a lot revealed. We definitely want to do the hero shrine there, I think. We already have a lot revealed, so I might not even need to do this. Let's see. I could hit three hospitals, but hitting three hospitals doesn't do anything for me. You don't need to hit multiple in a row. I can do everything at one. So I'm probably better off just going here, going here, and then going to the hospital and changing everything there. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right. Think carefully. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regret. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regret. Pretty good. I like that, Mr. Wayne. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regrets. Show me what you got. There's a layer there. That's cool. We'll do the whole thing. All right. So now we can do a full plan. So I think we're going to go here. Assistance encounter. Then we go hospital. Then I go assistance encounter here. And then I go academic study here. And then I go hero story. And then I go lair. Yeah, good plan. All right. Consider all variables, but do it quickly. of humanity twisted All right. by our stress is already built a little bit hail enemies oh wow okay so they got extra resistance i like this little thing that triggers from time to time just change up the enemy fights so let's not worry about blight oh my god there's that trinket coming in hot double attack sure Uh, I don't need to hit there, actually. 
Can I get to the other guy, though? Fortunately, no. Okay, let's do uh, stress reduction. Empowered, emboldened. I wonder if the boss changed from the last time as well. Yeah. Me too. Okay, we destroyed that. World, wealth is worthless without purpose. I'm gonna have to ditch a bunch of stuff as we go here, hey? Burn resist. Get rid of the bread. All right. So any any plus flame we'll take. And if we find any of those combat items for flame, that would actually be that would actually be clutch. So here plus flame but stress. Plus flame and food. Oh, this is definitely the one. Mixed work plus thirty flame. Soft. I don't love that. Unexpected find. Okay. So flame is up to a hundred. Soft is HP, I think. Yeah. Fifteen percent chance to have blind when attacked or when damaged. Uh, yeah, we might want to try to. Hit a, hit a cultist location if we can fit it in. I just don't think... I don't know. We have one here. That would pass up an academic study. But then it's so late in the run that I don't know if it's that effective. But I only have the one available. So... We'll have to see. I really want to keep as many in items as I possibly can. Yes, yeah, so we're probably having another battle here, and then we go into the hospital, remove a bunch of these negative quirks. Echoes of humanity. Twisted. Really wish you could get bobbles to get money. Yeah, me too. Okay, this dude he hits hard, does he not? You've got block and you've got dodge. Yeah, buddy. That was solid. A new His burn is low. Come, steal yourself. Two crits. Love to see it. Stealth and crit. Now, do I weaken this guy knowing that we can't kill him? Probably. Yeah. Good call. Throw this company. in here. Tense is fine. Tense is fine. Twenty percent blight. Ah, rolled low there. Breakthrough. Double crits. Twice in a row. 
So close. An unavoidable end. He does have blind here, so with any luck, that won't happen. But... Oh, nice! Okay, so he probably dies in the dots now. He did not. He did not die in the dots. Maybe next time? Nemesis has the Laudanum. And Nemesis will go before Stu Wu. Or no death blow. Guarded by the Woodsman, that's fine. Oh my god. A righteous Absolutely action. nasty. I mean... Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. He's wearing... He's wearing a cloak made of, I'm presuming, cotton and wool blend. Maybe polyester. That thing would be lit up like a Christmas tree. Let's be honest. This removes winded. I need, I need 11. Excellent that work. was extremely close to 11. Okay, that's nice. Nice. Uh... Yeah, we can kill him with the with Nemesis. Let's do another one of these. Cooperation is the key. I can't quite hit this position. With her. Oh, true. It's raining. No, true. It is raining. It's raining. That's why he didn't catch fire there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I should have caught that, Abandoned obviously. Or forgotten. How could I not notice now? that? You guys are so astute. All right, well, I'm ditching this. ditch this one. I only have one stack. No, I can use the boxing gloves at the end. Because you, uh, you, your final in, you want to buff as much as possible. Because you're going to the, you're going to the big show, you know. So. shortcomings even the worst habits can be overcome i don't think the food's going to become an issue i can get rid of one more minus five percent crit which does impact uh heal crits and the days moving her to the back at the start of a fight it's only the fight not every round so i kind of feel like that's fine too Listen to just the rain noises, guys. Just listen to this.
That's very subtle. But a lot of games wouldn't have that. That's really cool. Since this one is turn start, I'm going to take this, get rid of it. And hopefully Breacher doesn't swap with anything. That would have been a nice one to lock in, but there's a lot of hospitals. We'll see if we get up to 32 relics and we'll make another hospital stop. That also cleared out some of our slots now too, just by spending the money. Okay, so flames at 88. We're going to go to the assistance encounter just to keep it high. It's also a pretty safe path, so that's nice because our guys are pretty strong right now. The only issue is potentially stress building. Yeah, I could ditch some baubles. I'm not really spending them on anything. Okay, so here's flame for relics. Same. Okay. Well, not. Gotta do it. The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. 100% chance to scout for hoarder. Cool. Your coach Unnecessary. Is you can carry no more. But yeah, let's ditch some baubles. It's a good call, actually. Okay, so now we go academic study, then we go hero shrine, then we go lair. Myriad options require careful deliberation. I don't know how we missed that. Yeah. And if you guys watch the show on Netflix called You, since third season now, what happened? Oh, nice. Ah, cool. Two facets of the same stone. Love it. Never one without the other. We finished the third season recently, and that's one of the most effed up seasons of a show I've seen in a long time. Good in good ways and weird ways. Great series, yeah. I loved the first season. The second season was pretty good. The third season was great, but weird. Extremely weird. There's like... Yeah. It's like, uh... Yeah. I don't know. I can't really... I, can't, I shouldn't have brought it up because I really can't say anything without spoiling it. Okay, look at this. It's all the same. Who can take the stress? Um, I think Stu Wu was low, right? Oh, mixed cork though. You know what? I don't want to swap for positive cork there, so I'm going to be careful. I think we'll take it here instead. Kleptomania. The spoils. An artifact of unparalleled power. Ooh. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Now, okay, I'm not going to get too excited. Laden. Just like, honestly, it's not you that You can good. carry no more. So she got Kleptomania back. That's that's phenomenal. That's great. Um, here's the thing. I think now we probably swap these out. And we do 20% Gnarly Knuckles. And we get the 25% Empty Stein. This is where it's good. I could do like a an in-betweener, right? And go to like 52. But then I'm kind of back to that early position. I think I'm just going to go all damage. I'm just going to go all damage with her. And if she dies, I'll blame chat. So it'll be fine. Okay, Hero Shrine. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, good call on ditching the baubles. I don't know what I'm carrying all these for. I can't even spend them. Now, who's who's who are we going to unveil here in the shrine? I'm thinking uh, Plague Doctor again, just because. Uh, that's a class that will come on every run for the foreseeable future. I think we've gone too deep into Plague Doctor, so this will be the third unlocked skill. The show we're talking about is called You on Netflix. Y-O-U. It's about a guy who... Um, it's kind of like the show Dexter, but more about stalking. He's like a, he's a, it's weird. Like you're kind of rooting for him, even though he's a stalker and other things that I don't want to spoil, but uh, yeah, it's that similar style. Chapter 3. Extra Credit. By the second semester, her research was at a critical point, and regular supply raids of the university laboratories had become necessary. During one such expedition, she stumbled upon her professor, awkwardly slumped over his podium, a bloody kerchief on the floor. Here, then, was her ideal cadaver, oh. her long-awaited opportunity. A teacher? And she would not waste it. Wow. That... that's dark. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So... There have been quite a few times where we've wanted to heal, actual heal, but we couldn't do it because they weren't low enough. Um, oh yeah, but this this is the same this this is the same threshold that our other heal is at. We heal per positive token. So like, okay, here's the one situation where this is really good. Okay. This one situation, the very start of combat, when Stu Wu gets all of those tokens placed on her, and she's super low, and we need a big-ass heal, this would do it. But it's incredibly niche. It's incredibly niche. And it's, and, and it's only 10%. It's only and then you lose all your tokens. Like it's 10% per token. So there's so many things that have to work there. Yeah, you get a guaranteed... You get a guaranteed for 10. But they have to be under 50. Again. So like... Here... Okay, so here's the here's the positive. I'll, 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 I'll throw you a flip side argument as well, okay? So Battlefield Medicine, the downside is it's three three uses. Okay, you can only use it three times. So boss fights could be significant, right? Indiscriminate science, you could use every two turns. All the time. But you're only healing for 10% as compared to 20. So like on these groups, this is like three damage. Three or four damage. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe the upgrade is good. Like, maybe if we could look to upgrade it, maybe that goes to 20%, and then it's a pretty good... Like, then it's pretty solid, right? Then you say, okay, I won't worry about removing damage over time. I'll just take a more consistent heal if it's at a guaranteed 20%, and maybe the buff doesn't remove tokens. That could be cool. But uh, that's yet to be seen. All right, let's go to the lair. Where's our flame? 67. Well, that's dropping quick. I do have cultists here. We'll see. 
just take healing salves. Can't really rely on them, honestly. They're not available all the time. Okay. High blight resist and high... Oh, that's why. Hail enemies. Okay. Okay. Well, this ignores block, so let's go. Kimberly, thanks so much for coming by. It was great seeing you. Uh, now, this is interesting, actually, because... Blinding Gas... Could help us with that back line that we're not going to deal with yet. They're not going to take the Blight. Debuffs at 35. Could apply combos. Come on. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, he's so close to dead, though. He's so close. Notice this previous three streams where we played this. Today, though, there's been a couple of times where a skill will trigger without any sound at all. Okay, this is going to be a lot of damage. Try and blind one here. That did not work very well. Fantastic. Do this. Set up for a big attack. Mark. That's going to be really good against the boss, I think. I'm going to heal up a tad there. These guys are both going next. Go prevention here. Empowered, emboldened. Surprised they're not shooting her in the back where she's marked. It'd be surprising if they can't reach that. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. I care much more about the blind than the days. Ooh, this is good. This is big damage. 50% crit, extra damage. Oh my god. Is that our highest attack ever? 22 damage? I think it might be. That was insane. Another impediment. Cleared with him. Does the relationship test ever fail? Not that I've seen, honestly. Not that I've seen. This group's actually hitting pretty hard. 
need to clear some corpses so we can actually attack stuff. There you go. See? Because they're made of trees. Even though it's raining, you can't stop burning wood. Okay, I need a heal here. These guys are in scary range. Oh! Rip. And she got the trinket heal. Death's door, so that hopefully this ticks out and kills. Man. This guy's hit very hard. Oh. Okay, well. That sucks. That sucked. Oh well. All right, so are we going through this whole dungeon or what? It scares me. Stun resist, that's fine. Uh, Drummer. Remember him? Haven't seen him for a, quite a while. Resist, so it's a little safer. Nice. Okay, we have one dead drummer. Steady Lead singer yourself. coming up next. Rhythm guitar. Base player. Seven damage. Not bad. No death blow, right? Five, five. Five. Just enough to be annoying. Let's go out of prevention. There is comfort in company. There you go. Back at it. That trinket is... Honestly, <laughs> that's insanely strong. That feels very, very good. Still has a block here. Okay. That's Bono. What's the bass player in U2? What's his name? Anyway, that's the guy attacking. And then this is the edge. Steady yourself. Crap. I can heal off this. Off this corpse. Okay, so these guys are both killable on their dots. Have a dodge here. He goes to the front line. The smallest variable can make all the difference. This is a dungeon, right? Or is this uh do we get attacked on the road here? 
No, I think this is the dungeon. You know what? Let's heal again. Even the trinket can crit heal. That's amazing. Okay, I need five damage here. Anything but anything but four. Oh, this should be fine. Okay, he dies here, right? He dies here. One less obstacle in our path. Okay, let's keep going. The ultimate greed. 20% extra damage on these guys. Okay. Okay, so uh, this guy hits hard. This guy hits hard. This guy don't remember. And this guy hits drums hard. So fun. Fun times. Um, this guy does stress, I think, with that little round little bobble there. You know what? I'm going to throw a flag grenade and see what happens. They got it. That's good. Oh, my God. To the next. That was insane. <laughs> Never expected that. Happy to have it, though. How much damage was that? I didn't even... All I saw was the words crit, and then I blacked out and didn't remember anything else. 23? Is that our new record? We might have just set two records. Okay, let's do an ounce, just an ounce of prevention. Cooperation is the key. Really, only for for sniff. Ignore dodge or ignore block. Sorry. Seven. Let's burn the religious one. Eleven. Can't hit that position, so he goes to death's door, probably goes weak. With the block, I probably don't kill here unless we do something massive. Wow. That's right. That's right. We're doing a we're doing a ton of extra damage. I need to look at the highlight when I'm hovering just to get a gauge here. No death blow, so he's gone. Uh, who? Hold on, who goes first? So the drummer will die first. Let's just do it this way. One less we don't want him dying last. Our path. I love that twirl of the flame stick blade thing. The fire poker. I'm gonna see if he. Oh yeah, it won't matter. I don't think I have ounce of prevention up. No. I was gonna see if he could get us an attack here so I could heal, but that ain't gonna happen. So. Uh, I guess one little min maxi thing I could do is clear one of these corpses to get our to get our uh, grave robber max health 
She's three off. Might as well. Okay. Now, next, we have the Footman's Grog. We've seen that before. On Death's Door, we get that extra action. Mortal Ward. Plus six Death Blow Resist. All right. Oh, this guy again. This guy with the roots. We know how this works. Okay. Now I'm prepared. Now I'm prepared. Okay, so let's see if we get some, some damage over time going. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, if I hit this right away... Roots reacting. So maybe there's nothing I can do from this level. All right. That might have been an extra blight in there, too. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Gotta hit that back line, right? I'm gonna use the dots here and I'll hit the back line with our Hellions. So I just wanna stack the, the damage as much as I can early. Okay, so hold on. Why is that? What does this mean? Okay, so the way that this happened before, I thought that we, as as these vines were getting closer to us, we hit this guy, and then he would start, uh, he would like re retreat these things. If that makes sense. I don't like it. See, like, now what do I do? He's spawning trees? Like, I don't... I guess I, to I don't totally understand. Maybe it's individual. Maybe it's individual-based. Because she hit it, and then it kind of retreated a bit. She hit it, kind of retreated a bit. This will hit both. That's dirty. See, growth... Okay, so it's, I think it's individual. But I don't know what this whole underneath thing is. That's kind of sketchy. Okay, so that part we've got figured out. It's individual base. Nice that each of these guys can actually hit the back line. It's kind of insane. I wonder if I should get you into position two. Then you can't use poison darts. Yeah, that's fine. That's the Waking Dead. Okay, so that's the thing from the underground. Okay. Let's just do a healing salve here. I 
I'd like to handle some stress, but... Actually, she could be attacking both with the... with the plague grenade. A slow dissection. What does burn do? Burn does damage over time, just end. like this. Okay, I think we got to use a stress thing soon. Oh, shit. Don't love that. bad okay so now that it's it's like on these guys let me swan it okay so now it's not individual but it also didn't remove all of them So it's like chance based. I see. I see. I see. And now this thing's coming up, which means we have a big attack coming from underneath. Fun. Yeah, it probably receives the biggest growth, but if there's two that are matching, I think it would just be random. Okay, this is not good. Please don't stress. I need to ounce of prevention here now. It has to happen. There is comfort in company. How long are these lasting? Only one more turn? Come on. Good fly. There you go. I just need a I just need Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. So he's in killable range. Frick, here comes. Meltdown. No! At least these guys stayed positive. That's actually empowered. pretty nice. That could be way worse. Cooperation is the key. That could be way worse. Can I do 12? How angry are we? 12 to 16 damage. There we go. So now every tick he can die. Sweat soaked brows, unsteady stances, exhaustion takes hold. Strangled here, that kind of sucks, to be honest. I'm actually gonna do the swan thing here. I know, I know, crazy. But I want it. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's not as it's not as predictable as I think it is. Because even though she's strangled, I thought that would for sure get rid of that with the root. Now I'm just gonna go all in on this suffering thing. begins. Because I wanted to get a heal off here. Because we have the um, what do you call that thing? The south. Continues. We got it. But. We're very low health. We're very low health and our stress is higher than I'd like. I'm up to 86. I'm up to 86. I wonder if it's wise for me to go to the cultist encounter. Our loathing is pretty low. You think I can get there with 86 left? I think I just ditch all of them now. I don't need to carry any. 
Well, actually, um, is there going to be a trinket at the last inn that I'm going to want to buy? Like, probably not. Probably not. 86 torch. You know what? I think I can get there, especially with the assistance here. So I'm going to go academic study. See what that gives. Oh, awesome. They all want that, too. All right. That's nice. Little breathing room. Stu Wu gets some time to heal here. We do have to battle. Sniff goes early, though. So we should be able to get a nice early heal. Gargantuan, so 4 HP. Oh, yeah. Sniff doesn't... Oh, yeah. It does have speed, but somehow just rolled really low. Hmm. 13 to 18. Oh, my God. She's next. whacking big time. gonna be fine i could remove stealth here but like then what well actually then i could do a um i could do a noxious blast or whatever back there to to put the mischance yeah let's do a headlight hard light <laughs> let's use the headlight maneuver i can do uh one of these I gotta restack my salves too. There we go. That's good. That's good. Got a combo in this one. Excellent. We're back in the game. No worries. Okay. There is Convention Company. Can't have any more meltdowns. 50% crit. This should be almost 100. 92%. Excellent work. Yeah. Every disease is a vaccine. Oh my god. Does this game have an agenda? Is this game pro-vaccination? I hope it is. Interesting to note here, chat. Did you see what happened there? Cooperation is the key. Did you guys notice what happened there? So, in the past when we've been uh, stealth, even if we get hit by an AOE attack, it uh, misses our stealth character. At least it seems to have every time. But... When we attack with an AoE to hit stealth characters, just like in the first one, you could hit stealth with AoE, it landed. But that doesn't work the same way for the enemies, it seems. Okay, I don't want her to kill this guy outright. Good job. I want to heal. We're just under. Come on! I 
I can use the healing salve at any time, so I'll, I guess I'll wait. Uh, I need five. How much damage do you do? Three to four and then five burn. Okay, I'm going to play it like this. I want to get her fully healed up if I can. So we'll do this. You kill one of these. Go to max. And then hopefully the, the burn can apply. Oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, four to eight. I need five. That'll do. One less obstacle in our path. Totally planned. Okay, we're at 80. It's looking pretty good. We still have an assistance thing here. It's a safe road as well. Should probably be close to healed by then. Lost and desperate. Nothing. Nothing. They need your nothing. help. See how this is books? I don't know. I, I don't know what I need to have for that. These are still a big mystery to me. Uh, Cardero, thanks for the membership. I totally missed you. I was enthralled in a uh, battle, probably. Uh, if you're still here, I really appreciate the, the join. Thanks, man. Flame 65. Okay, it's pretty close actually. Stu who can't read. It's probably true. It's probably why we couldn't do it. Minus flame, minus flame. I mean, I gotta take this one. Scavenge what you can. Oh, sick. And be oh, sick. We got lanterns as well. Oh, beautiful. That pretty much guarantees it. All right, I need to stack. Hold on, I need to stack these jars. We actually have a lot of a lot of healing salves, so I think we're gonna throw those in here as well. And then you can take, uh, you can take the lanterns. We'll pop those all in the next fight. And then Stu Wu, you take the lot of them. All right. So at this next fight. Uh, we're gonna pop the lanterns every time. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna use these two. We're gonna try and de-stress a bit so we don't have another freaking meltdown. 12 to 16. Oh, that was so close. There is comfort in company. No death blow on any of these guys. You know what? I'm going to pull this one up and see if she doesn't like that very much. Let's see what she does in this position. Don't look. She moves all of our tokens. Cool. Oh, great. This is going well. Dead. 
just getting all these random heals now. I think that we need to keep, we need to swap these, I think. I think she's going to be better off in second position. We have the smoke screen for the boss stuff. We have searing strike for damage and yeah. This applies more flame, but I think let's have her start in second position again. One less obstacle in our path. Nice. There you go. See, now you're talking. Um, do I let this guy live to get more flame? got the missed chance. Okay, we're up to one hundy. That's good. I'd say that was pretty successful. In this world, wealth is worthless. All those playing purpose. cards? Nice. Good in item, actually. Okay, so now we want to switch out. Uh, we're going to change these guys' positions again. Uh, we're going to switch this out for something else. Let's actually go stimulants. Strength. And speed. We can, we can buff up uh, Stew Wheel. I mean, that could be good. I wonder if I should take, like, a death blow resist increase. I, like, 95 is really nice. It's very high. Base is 75. The flame is helping. The relationship is helping. Yeah, I don't know. Look at this. We have a lot of stew. Can I keep stacking this as well? I bet I could. That's a lot of stew. And then we have food to back it up. I'll get rid of the slime mold. Yeah, we're going to have a huge in visit. All right. I think we go Plague Doctor again at the shrine. Good soup. <laughs> I love that. Chapter four. Failing grade. We might see her a full like story today. By the time we're done. Oh shit. Success. Vindication. The human machine. Look what we've done. Restored to action. Stabilize the patient. Okay, so this is the this is the professor that is our test subject that we've reanimated. I need to stabilize. So he's bleeding. You would think I would want to... to... Okay, hold on. Hold on. 
So I got three options. The first one, restrain him. So I lock him down in this position. He's got how much health? 17, right? So I restrain him. And then I stitch him. What's the trick? What's the trick? Let's lock him first, because I don't want him to get near me. He's got health to work. Oh. Oh. Well, there's that. Well. He has 100 debuff resist. this. He is not cured. I am extremely confused. Why is he still taking the bleed? Let's see if we can do it again. It's... It, it's making him bleed more. What in the giant shit? Oh, here, hold on now. Wait, what? It's got to be something to do with where he is. Lab oh, this is targetable. Oh, this is targetable? I can't do any of these things. <laughs> what the frick is going on? Because if I do six... I can't do any of these, so... Well, I'm not sure what's happening here, but I can't do any of these anymore. He's going to die. It must have to, yeah, it must have to be placement with this apparatus, right? Well, he's stabilized. <laughs> the shrieking and wailing oh. was horrible. Oh. But the silence that followed is even worse. So we still get it. Interesting. Hmm. Cause of death. Ooh. Yeah, see, this is cool. This is cool. So we stack a big, we stack a bunch of burn and blight, and then we just slam them for a bunch of damage. That's really nice. And it ignores, ignores block. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes sense, actually, Savage. She's supposed to fail. That's the point. She wasn't able to do it. Oh, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I like that. Now, what do I get rid of here? Probably, probably blinding gas. A cause of death. Probably blinding gas. Play grenade's too strong. It stacks with this. Council Prevention saves our team. 
Battlefield Medicine saves our team. Noxious Blast stacks with this. Yeah, and we might be able to... Yeah, what would the boost to this be? Maybe 100% damage? And maybe it doesn't remove? Oh, that would be sick, actually. That would be ridiculous. If it dealt the damage and then didn't remove the damage over time, that would be broken. All right, now, the Guardian. Uh, do we go... Do we go through this whole... Do we go through this whole dungeon? Is there anything that we could possibly need trinket-wise that we have unlocked. We've seen pretty much everything. Oh, come on. Do I consider this game to be easier than the first one? We talked about this a little bit yesterday. I don't know if it's just that we've had, like... Illusion. That was Good synergies, or I don't know. Fragmented and I would say we're, we're playing pretty well, generally. But we haven't had anybody die. We haven't failed. It's our second run, and it's going quite well. So, yeah. Okay, since these guys have a bunch of block to work through, and they hit really hard, I think we actually open up with the yacht. Got it there. there Onto prevention. Company. We'll see how our runs go. We'll see how the, the first few rooms go here. I can blight this guy a bit. Or I can go through the block. Maybe do that. Probably better. Let's go for blinds here. Makes them vulnerable as well. And we have the the combo target. So we can set up for bigger hits with our uh, grave robber. You've seen other streamers get destroyed? Are they using like wacky party compositions or like maybe they're maybe they've never played too like i spent a lot of time playing the first game that could be 50 percent crit when the, this is guaranteed crit then almost 81 oh my god 19 percent for that to go down that way that's what happened They have a little death blow resist. Just a wee bit of death blow. I'm guessing, so I think the, the thing that we picked up on, honestly, very early was uh, like one of our first upgrades was getting this out to prevention. If I had to guess, other people might be struggling with, um, with stress. Because if you don't have that skill, there's not a lot of other ways to do it. So that was like one of the first things that we upgraded and it's, it's carried us. On to the next. So I start blighting this dude or this dude? Actually, we swing here. Damn it. I need to get rid of my, uh, my winded. Anxiety for men's Yikes, that's a big two stress fears. right there. We do have a ounce of prevention coming up next. 
doesn't burn out from the burn there. Sick. The Bye. smallest variable can make all the difference. Huh. <laughs> Can't do anything here. Helpful, at least. There is comfort in company. We're only in the first part of this, so... Pull out some prevention wherever we can. We don't have an in coming up. For a few fights. Frick. You need to die. We're not going to have ounce of prevention because it's on cooldown, so... Let's actually do this. We'll take that tiny little heal, because why not? These two can do seven damage. Cyanor. All right. I'm a little concerned about our stress. Gotta be honest. A lot of extra damage coming in here. Just a plus five heal for some reason. That was nice, I guess. Maybe in the dungeons we get a heal uh, after each room. I've never haven't noticed that until now. Totally possible. Uh, we've got a taunt, so I can't get him. We've got all these blocks, but I mean. Ooh! The grave robber can kill that. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes just pretend I didn't do that. Just pretend I didn't do that. Probably could have killed this. Steady yourself. Ouch. I could have been dead. I totally F that. Yeah, so that guy, well, he has that death blow. Resist. Good crit. Absolutely money. I gotta deep breath. Empowered, emboldened. Cooperation is the key. Okay, he's on In the door. Crisis, he should die from that we burn. We can rely only upon each other. Ah, oh, these guys get hard, man. Frenzy is a uh, real pain in the ass. Okay, now I gotta work on this drummer a bit. Uh, yeah, one more blight there, maybe an iron swan. Oh, we're taunted, so we get that. There you go. No death blow, so the drummer is dead. Let's throw in the combo. Timed. 
A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. And blind. Ha! Nice. Free repose. Okay, we're in a not bad spot here. Not a bad spot. Action. Let's see. Ooh. See? Okay. I think... I think some of these dark impulse trinkets need to be reworked. This is asking me to give up two slots. Right? But I have to put the dark impulse and I have to put this one in. But there's a lot of speed trinkets that give plus four. And... I just don't see the value in some of these. The crit one's pretty good, because I, I haven't seen a lot of, like, high crit chances. That could change as we unlock more, but I don't know. Uh, let's... Let's go. Ooh. 20% decimal resist. Gotta love that. Resistances aren't too high, though. On everything else. God, her damage is just wild. Don't stress, please. Oh, crap. You know what? I'm going to smoke screen this first. Double blind. Cause then I come in swinging here with Insider. It's pretty nasty. Excellent nice. work. Okay, melee attack. Nice. Cooperation is the key. In crisis. We can I, I can almost guarantee in the next, like, other. whenever they do their first kind of big update, that'll be something they change. Or, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe there's something I'm... Maybe there's something conclusion. I'm missing with those combo trinkets. Okay, so hold up. I need to, this is three to four. I'm not going to bring him down below anyways. So... Let's go here and remove some dodges, maybe. Dissection. An unavoidable you, could, you could bring him below. Not if you do four damage, you can't. Well, I do have a heal here. He's dead now. All problems have their solutions. Even the big ones. Uh, you know what? Let's actually do this. Let's clear this so these guys are a little easier to hit. Time to burn. 
Big swing. God damn. Actually, company. I probably didn't need to do that because we're going to the end here, but it worked out. Okay, sick. Dungeon cleared. By confronting the past, I don't know how many masteries we got, but like I'm pretty sure all of our skills are going to be upgraded. So, okay. Whenever I think about something in a game where I'm like, I don't feel like that works. I got to think about the counterpoint. The counterpoint to this the trinket, abates. where I'm saying it's it's not that good. Um, what if you don't, what if you didn't get any speed trinkets dropping? What if you don't have a bunch of speed buffs, right? Like on Sniff, we had the Wolf's Blood and we had a, a book that was giving also plus four, even though it was a more basic trinket. I don't know. That's another thing too. But what if you didn't have that? What if this was the only way to increase speed and that became really important in your run? Well, then, then it's good, I guess, probably, right? So, yeah. So there's that argument too. Now, uh... We're heading into the final, into the mountain. Hold on. I'm gonna ditch my baubles. And I'll ditch some of this stuff. I'm gonna get rid of the dark impulse, or the, sorry, the hardened heart. Not gonna ditch any in items. Bandages can go, and glimmer of hope can go. I, it's situational, right? So like, it might be good at some point. I, don't know. I I need to think about sniff theory here. So Raven's Reach is fine. It basically adds one damage. I don't think it impacts the damage over time. Um, but I'm looking at something like the Footman's Grog. You know, if she gets onto Death's Door, I mean, that could be helpful. Uh, HP could even be not bad. Just having, that's an extra enemy hit, kind of. Death Blow Resist could be good if, if we end up in that situation. What do you guys think? What do you think would be good here on uh, Sniff heading into the final, uh, heading into the mountain? Can't you stack some of those combat items? Mm. No. Mm. You have to have the same items. Can this fit here? No. Max to two. I have the healing salves there. Oh, I could have put something here. That's fair. Blind. Let's do that. You can't have death blow above 95? Well, awesome then. So Nemesis is the only one who's not getting it. And that's because of her relationships. So it seems like for every positive... For every um, uh, relationship you have that's gold, you're getting a plus five. Our flame's giving plus ten, so it's pretty good. Sniff should be survivable and have as much dodge or HP as possible without the healer you're aft. Yeah. I, I don't disagree. So, HP sounds pretty good. All right, I don't see any other good counterpoints, so let's stick with this. Okay, like we're gonna go to the inn. We're gonna be super buffed because we saved pretty much all of our inn items, which has been a little painful, but probably worth it in the long run. We'll slay him together. We just got buffed somewhere, somehow. Huh. 
I didn't even know this. I didn't even know that she had this. Like, I, I probably read it at one point, but it didn't clue in that she's dealing even more damage when she's low health. Why am I not? I gotta play around that a bit more. Okay, dokily. We made it. The roaring heart does much for the weary body. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. Guild to 25. The Wainwright awaits. Eager to ply his trade. Supreme knowledge. Erudite. Resilient. So if she's under 50% HP, she has 25% chance to lose a stress. That's very uh, specific. Oh, that's not cool. Intense fear of animals and non-human creatures. At combat start, if there's an animal, 50% chance for stress. Second wind. HP under 50%. 20% damage. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, sick. Uh, donations? Sure. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Okay, this is exciting. So let's do the uh, the invigorating stew first, increasing match max HP. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, on these two as well. And I might hit Stu Wu with one more and maybe even Sniff. Or maybe I should go like... I'll do Nemesis. Oh, hold on. Whoops. I forgot I swapped these guys. So let's hit uh, Insider and Sniff here. Then we follow up with Food. A de-stress fear, chance to purge a negative. Oh yeah, now there's a chance that she... One third chance that food has no benefit. Let's feed her a bunch of stale bread. She seems to love the stale bread. <laughs> oh, crit. Crit foods. Good. Uh, minus three stress. See, yeah, this is, this is bugged. All these stress items in here are not super accurate. Chance of positive or negative affinity. So where are we at here? We could further reinforce these, or we could try to get Nemesis boosted a little bit. This also gives the strength buff. Okay, that's good. She can't have this. So we'll give it to these two again. And it went back down. Excellent. So extra speed until the next in. Let's go sniff. Bleed resist. Stew woo. Dodge token. Stew woo. Party cards. Good. That's it. One learns quickly. When survival demands it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check this. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so it does go up to 100, but it also adds the combo. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is good. Okay. 
She has to be in position three. I, I get that. Yeah. I'm looking at who I could maybe move to the back. I could just go all in on the ranged here. She can sit in the back and... The only problem is, like, pick to the face, ignoring that block. It's pretty nice. Nemesis can't really go to the back as well. I could swap these two. It just means our, our normal big wall up from here. The other thing we could do... Okay. Look, I... <laughs> If, it, if the boss is the same thing, it's not going to matter because I can't even do damage over time against this boss. But I think what we do is we stack up damage over time, move Sniff into position to do that attack, and then just move out. Listen. Practice. Improve. I don't think we used Absinthe once today. But it is it Learn is good. I just taught. need to get some dodges. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. We'll take this. We also might have like shuffles and stuff to worry about, so you never know. We could boost Hearth Light. And then... Boost Battlefield. And Absent. Alright, so all of our current skills are maxed. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Now, I should buy as many combat items as I can, really. Uh, hold on. I can buy a speed bag. I can purge another negative. Disease resist. Incense. Spiked ball for free uh, bleed. Uh, I maybe shouldn't have bought that. Hold on. I think we definitely just keep the healing salves. Stimulants we're going to use. So maybe we'll put in the spiked ball instead of the smoke bomb there. And then we'll buy in items Planning here. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. What's my stress at? Not bad. Spend what you can, or wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Okay. So now... Which negative quirk do I need to get rid of the most? Those are probably not good. But they have, this removes stress, too. Let's do Sniff. Okay. That one happens to remove two. Uh, we can go Disease Resist. There's 30, 30, 30, 50. Spawn a Dodge Token each turn until next in. Okay, so you're already speed bagged. I wonder if this can stack. You have a higher chance. I'll give each of them a speed bag. Minus two stress. Everyone's healed. Okay, you guys ready? Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. 
I think we're ready. I'm gonna ditch these. Shall we? Very curious to see if it's the same boss. At last, the great ziggurat. Temple of failure and regret. Is there anything else I should get rid of? I feel like this would all be accounted for at the end of the game. Like, you know how you're supposed to get a bit of hope for discarding items? I feel like it should just auto-discard whatever you have left. Vulnerable to them or dodge to us? I think we add dodge. Uh, Jesse, that, the mastery of the Plague Doctor's healing ability, uh, the base ability did that too. It's always removed the dots. This one, uh, this one here. It's always removed them. Yeah. The only change is 5% uh, extra healing. Okay, two huge religious beasts. Wow. Let's go all in on Mr. Frontliner. Oh, now it removed dots from the Plague Doctor 2. That's what you're saying. Oh, yes. Okay, good catch. Yeah, good catch. This first section is saying, yeah, okay. Removes it from the Plague Doctor and removes it from the target. Okay, cool. It felt like a weird upgrade. We didn't catch that before. Good eye, guys. I should check this fire resist there. Okay, well, this is counts of prevention if I saw, if I saw one. Ooh, dang. I got stunned, so I'm not even going to get to heal that off this turn. Eleven. Let's see if we get a big swing here. Oh, we did. There we go. So now maybe he dies. Maybe. Set up a combo here. He means indiscriminate science removes all tokens, good or bad, then gives them 10% heal for each. Oh, the upgrade. Yeah, you know what? Fair enough. I Honestly, I didn't even look at it. I didn't look at it. I should have. That might be good in the right scenario, but maybe not. Three with vulnerable. Early results nice. are encouraging. Okay, let me ounce prevention here. There is I should have probably healed company. this off, but she can heal from the corpses. A slow dissection. Oh, I An removed the combo end. from that because it that lit up the adjacent target. Probably not ideal.
blind. Please win. <laughs> Excellent work. Wow. The ladies are angry. Yeah, I'm just saving all of our stuff for the big fight. I know I could probably replenish with some, but... I think it's okay. This dude's gonna be in trouble here. I don't think he's surviving this round. Anytime now. There you go. Thank you. Doom, 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 doom. The loathing whispers. So pretty much these fights on the road to the final deal here, just to re reduce loathing, I guess. Unsettling. Okay. Now when we get shuffled, thing that's what th with this party, that's when things get kind of weird. And we usually end up like losing a turn. Now I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take a second here. I'm gonna move her into third position. Because I want to just trigger this one time just to see how it feels. Steady yourself. You're going to have to burn for a while. Sorry. <laughs> Did not dodge, my friend. She's going to take some stress. Is it worth it? Yeah, I guess. All right. So let's see. Now, is it going to do nine damage? Or is it going to do 12 damage? Because you take the full value of the turns. We'll find out. Well, okay. So it takes all of the turns combined. That is insane. Now, in this situation, probably not advisable because uh, you want the damage over time to be ticking on him. But uh, that's really neat. We've really hurt our party doing this, but I hope it's worth it. A miscalculation, perhaps. We'll be able to heal on this next one. The slow suffering begins. I, I want to use Ounce of Prevention, but I, I do need to heal here. A little help, impeccably timed. We'll try it. We'll probably have another round to reduce stress.
It's going to be really good for um, a big, like a big chunky boss. That's where it would be the best. The smallest variable can make all the difference. All right. We definitely uh, put ourselves in a suboptimal position there with this extra stress. The loathing festers. I guess I can turn on auto drive here for once. The nightmare gate is revealed. Beyond only infernal nihility and non existence. It's the same thing. Okay. All I remember is that this one removes our ability to heal. Regret is the melee. I think lament is ranged and shackle of despair is stress. I think. Okay. I'm actually going to increase whose damage. Who does the most damage? I guess we have to say Stu Wu. To take the stims. So which is the worst one? Oh, we actually... These guys... I, I, for some reason, I, I felt like their uh, Blight Resist was pretty high, but that's not true. Regret is for melee. So that's going to suck for some of these. Which one's the stress one? I think it's I think it's Shackle of Despair. See, look at now. Okay. End. <laughs> now let's say we cast that thing from the Plague Doctor right now. That would be 12 plus 15 for 27 damage. Which, in my opinion, is kind of insane. You have no combo stuff. And you have some. Light resist. Adds combo. And then, of course, here. Oh, we can't use melee skills right now. Plague Grenade looks pretty good here. Ounce of Prevention looks maybe pretty necessary. And I should probably do it before we get blocked from stress healing. In crisis, we can it also gives us some extra debuffs or other. some extra buffs, sorry. Denial of Fortitude. Okay, so there goes the healing part. Kind of wasted a vulnerable there.
the problem with this party and, and that skill specifically is it's it's a huge it's a huge amount of time to set up for We did guess the right one. Now, I could move. <laughs> so this one just went. So that would be 16 plus 5 for 21 damage. And actually, I can't hit the back line with this. <laughs> I can't hit the back line. <laughs> Good thing I checked. Well, we're not going to swap positions just yet. Death blow resist nil. That's 17. So, God, we're one short. One short there. These guys are pretty tanky from that in stew that we were saving the whole time. All right, so melee off limits again. Dead. Slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Let's do a little heal here. Uh, let's set up smoke screen for a combo attack. Here. Actually, maybe we should get rid of the, the melee one. That's probably the most impactful for this team. Should have comboed the first. Is this the first guy? Okay. Meltdown time. Yikes. Yikes. Terrified. Combat start. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, well, this will be fun. Okay, Shackle of Despair is dead, right? 17, yeah, good. I'm going to go for crits with more blight here. We were up to 100 blight before the, uh... Oh. Really? You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. There is comfort in well, company. Let's try and prevent that from happening again. I wonder. Ah! I got one HP there. That trinket, literally keeping her alive right now. Nice damage. So in this position, I can inflict bleed. So I've got bleed, burn, and blight, which could work out to be pretty helpful. survived all of that. 
Um, the healing salve gets me more. But I can't use any other skills. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. We're going to go healing salve. And then I'm going to swap positions. This is uh, 40 damage. Yeah, we, we could could have used both there, but this is... Now we have a setup to kill this on the next turn. And now I put her in a place where she can't use her skills. Sweet. Let's get some dodges. Cool. Good planning, Christopher. Good planning. Good dodge. Hey, the trinket's alive. Ooh, that is heavy damage. It's the heavy D. Melee. Now I'm already setting up for the next time we use that attack. Here comes, baby. Oh, it wore off a bit. So it's 20. Still good. That's insane. I should have looked at this too. This would be 6 plus 12, so 18. Yeah. A little help, impeccably timed. Be strong. Okay, melee is back on the table. This is on cooldown for another turn. So let's light back up here. Ah. A breakthrough. Does it cap out at eight? Is that the highest that it can go? A little help impeccably timed. 8 times 5 is 40. That's insane. I'm going to start stacking on this one now. The Plague Doctor is just insane. That's still enough to kill. 32 plus 3 is 35. This is range. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it. All right. Comfort and company. You've delayed us again. I'm gonna keep this going. It seems to be functioning fine. for weak. Twenty-two and twenty-four. Got the double. Okay, here we go now. Now, hold on. So, Plague Doctor can kill here. 18 plus 
26 is 22. Can't quite kill there yet. <laughs> she can kill either one. The melee one's more annoying. Wait, did I did I bad math that? Oh god. I might not I should have looked again. I think I bad mathed it. I was convinced that that was a kill. Dang. Well, this one's dead next turn anyway. <laughs> uh, never do math on these. I always got to check the turn of because it changes too much. A little help impeccably timed. See ya. Messy, but effective. Let's let the thing tick out so I can boost. Bye. Knowledge and experience. Twin yardsticks of progress. There! It didn't glitch out this time. Holy crap. Look Are at the shaken? profiles. There is so much <laughs> worse in store. Oh my god! Try and try again. That's ridiculous. You will break through this gloaming murk. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone else is unlocked. The Jester, the Leper, and the Occultist. Now, the Occultist probably still heals. The Jester probably does stress and bleed like he did, and the Leper probably hits hard. So we maybe don't take the Plague Doctor. Uh, combat item. If HP is under 50, heal 50% 50 HP, but give a stress. That's a pretty good trade-off. In item, chance to spawn super blocks. Each combat. Oh, each combat turn. Bear trap immobilizes enemy. Two tokens. Medium bleed attack. Oh, that's cool. In item, chance to spawn taunt tokens each combat until next in. Candles and chocolate improve affinity by a little or a lot. Romantic. God, there's so many. Combat item, uh, medium bleed, uh, burn attack, move resist, debuff enemy death blow resist. Could be good in some situations. Clarifying poultice, stun resist, immobilizes enemy. Large heal combat item triage kit. So that's better than the stuff we've been using. Adds two taunt and a block. Day's enemy chance to stun. Medium blight. Songbook of Amorous Ballads. Two targets. That's interesting. So high chance of strong positive affinity, but low chance of strong negative affinity. The other one works a slightly different. Scrap grenade, medium bleed. Restorative herbs. Increase healing received until next in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, see, this is where you see a lot more variety coming into play. Reduces chance of negative banter on a coach upgrade. Reduces restorative items. Very cool, but it's rare. Whiskey bottle, minus two stress. Knotted tug rope. Chance to spawn strength tokens each combat turn until next in. That's very good. Plus 20% passive healing rate. That's pretty good. Probably unnecessary. Produces invigorating stew, which is quite nice. That's the thing that gives the max HP. 20% scout chance. Increase the chance of looting trinkets. If rank 4 plus 5 speed. So here's an example again for a, like a speed thing, right? That's already so strong. Reduces bandages and nets. Stress heal a random hero each rogue segment. I like that. I like the wind chime. Reduces whiskey. 50% burn resist. 25% burn chance. 
50% disease resist with impulse. Apply days on hits. Very basic death blow resist. Debuff resist. Damage, damage. Blight. See, like, some of these now are pretty cool. Kitchen knives. Resistance. Uh, turn start heal 10%, 25% chance. Move resist. Highwayman only, 8% crit. There we go. This is like from the first game. Grave robber only, 5 speed. Turn start, taunt. Rank 1. Debuff. Immobilize. Jester only, 25% stress resist. Leper only, gain on miss, a super block. Man at arms only, gain when hit, super block, 33%. Occultus only, debuff resist. Plague Doctor only, burn resist. Vag Trinket, 15% ranged. Runaway, 50% burn. Combat start, super block. Combat start, super dodge. Stress resist, stress resist. Apply weak on hit. Then now you got fainting spells. Hemorrhagic fever. Periodic paralysis. Sepsis. So sepsis was uh Oh, these are all these are all diseases, even though it's showing us like works. These are new diseases. But sepsis has been in. So I don't know what that's about. Braggart, calm, sluice tactician. While in the sluice, round start. Get dodge 15% while in the sluice extra crit. Sprawl stuff, Sprawl Tactician, Cowardice, Fear of Cadavers, Fear of Cosmic Beings, Pastures Technician, Forest tech Tactician, Fragile's Bad, Raconteur, Occultophobia, Occultomania, Lurker, Extra Damage at No Flame, and Rummager. That's a lot. So where do we get most of the... Where do we get most of the uh, hope from? Goals Cleared... End boss bonus, only 120. Victory here. I'm too lazy to add these all up. Oh, items discarded, 720. You see that, chat? That's big. Now, I do want to know if the extra items in our, in our cart get discarded at the end, because if they don't, it is definitely worthwhile to discard everything before going out to the last... Um, uh, to before going to the mountain. Just discard everything. But I wonder if the cart is automatically emptied at the end. So, who knows? Look at that. It just, this is how it transitions us back to the start. Very cool. How many souls are lost forever? in this lightless obscurity. The seat of your denial. All right. Perched precariously so, in the murky gloaming. I presume that this is something to do with just early access, right? We're only ever going to see this. The shackles so we've of only had this since we started. Be destroyed. Have you found out how to increase the difficulty yet? The crossroads. You could play, uh, you could try and have no flame. The light? Which I think I might try for my next run. Because I'm not going to lie, we pretty much stomped our way through two things. We almost did die, actually, to the, um, to that forest boss the very first time with the root. We almost died. That was almost game over. I feel like the end boss, uh, obviously they're going to expand on that. Because that's pretty straightforward as well. The challenge... The way that people are going to screw up is by making mistakes. So here's our Jester. Let's see what he's got. So any rank, bleed, stress, heal, support. Yeah, pretty standard. Razor's Wit, so he's going to move forward and gain dodge. Fade to black, he's going to move back. And... The target will have a blind. Slice off for bleed. 
Uh, Battle Ballad? So, excuse me. Battle Ballad used to be the stress heal. No. Inspiring Tune is the stress heal. Yeah. So this is interesting. Um, this is interesting. So you can only reduce stress if the target's above 50%, but you reduce it for two. And it's single target, it's not the whole team. It'd be cool if you could see what the upgrades were too on this screen. Most streamers getting curb stomped halfway through their first area of the valley. Uh, that's okay, I mean, we're gonna die too. We've just been pretty lucky. Looks like there's still four classes to add. I, It just comes down to knowing Darkest Dungeon, right? Like, if you've never played it before, of course you're gonna be struggling. Harvest for Bleed. Finale, remember Finale? So this is a combo. Big damage, double damage when they're comboed. And you go back to the back ranks. And you're vulnerable in days. Well, that's pretty sketch. A gleaming endowment. Solo moves forward. So pretty much the same deal that he used to be. Ooh, Encore's nice. Grant that extra action. I like that. Echoing March. Pull and then they get pulled again on the turn start. So yeah, he's definitely... He wants to sit probably starting in this like... Probably starting in this third position. Mm, what's the crit? Yeah. I would say you start him in third position here, and then you open up with, like, Razor's Wit or a Slice Off. And then you just manage Fade to Black and Razor's Wit. Because when you think about it, like, so... The blind is technically better because you can't account for who they're going to target all the time. So if the enemy's blinded, they have a chance to miss anybody they swing at, whereas the dodge is only protecting you. Um, he's starting with slugger, which is good. Head and sand is not good. But yeah, okay. Now, uh, the leper. He's always, he wants to be rank one all the time. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. So, this is how they're changing from accuracy in the first game. This is how they're changing from accuracy. Uh, Stu Wu, thanks for the super chat. I'm glad you had a good time. That was awesome having you as our Hellion. That was a real blast. You did a great job. You did a great, great, great job. Great job. Uh, okay, so this is how they're changing from accuracy. Now, there's a 75% chance that Chop will make you blind on the next uh, attack. That's cool. It's a lot of damage. I get it. Purge clears a corpse, knocks back the target, but it's only the front line. Still pretty good. Knocking somebody from front to back is generally very uh, disorienting. Withstand. So you get double blocks, double taunt, uh, resistances, move resist. And then at the turn start, you're also going to get another block. You can use it twice. So that's a good... Uh, depending on the enemies you run into, that's either a good starter or second skill after chop. Solemnity. Under 33% HP, you can heal yourself. And you get stress reduction, so that's really nice. And then Reflection, uh, you're removing stress, removing blind, removing combo. Okay. And you can use that all the time. So, yeah. Chop, Reflection. Chop, Reflection. Chop, Reflection. That's kind of your main... That's probably your main, like, pattern, right? And then you throw these in where you feel you need to. Chop reflection, chop reflection. 
Q hits the first two and then does the same thing as Chop. Less damage. Revenge. Add vulnerable to yourself. At the turn start, you get stronger. Yeah, that's cool. Intimidate hits anybody. Taunts, and the target gets too weak. That's nice. Ruin when self, when damaged, you get 20% extra damage. That's pretty cool. Break. Ignores block. And removes block. Yep, like that. And then again, adds that 75% chance to blind. It's interesting because that's actually a pretty cool way of doing it. 75% chance to blind, so not guaranteed. And then the blind isn't guaranteed to work either. You could still 50% hit, so... And then bash. Uh, you disorient the target, immobilize them, immobilize yourself. That could actually be pretty nice because you don't want to move out of this first position. He's got clutch hitter, so HP low, big crits. And curmudgeon. Now, I always loved the Occultus. I used to argue that the Occultus was better than the Vestal in, in uh, Darkest Dungeon 1 because their heals were generally bigger, right? Even at the low end, their heals were generally bigger. But if you break down and do the math, <laughs> which I let other people do for me, I did not do it. But if you break it down, the Vestal who would heal the first... This is all n null and void now because we're not talking about the same game, but the Vestal would heal everybody for their heal for smaller amounts but because of crit healing the chances were actually better that you would have more uh healing overall with the vestal and you kept your team in it for a lot more but it was also way more boring so uh yeah i like the occultist because it's fun sacrificial stab what is that icon guys what is that Fist, uh, fist pump when the target is is comboed. What is that? Don't know. But uh, pretty good damage and high crit sacrificial stab. Abyssal artillery. I love this skill. Love this skill. Double damage on the back line. Uh, weakening curse. So you make them weak. Weird reconstruction. Here we go. So. Darkest Dungeon 2, everything is percentage-based. So this used to be numbers-based in the first first game. Target has to be low. That's another good... I actually like that change. I actually like that change. It makes it so that the classes, you don't just literally spam one spell all the time. So you can target anybody. Get from a 0 to 33% heal. Um... Honestly, that's not as strong as... Well, okay. So, yeah. It is limited in usage as well. 20% guaranteed heal under 50. And removes all your dots. Is way stronger than... This can also inflict bleeding on the person you cast it on. The chances of this rolling higher than 20% are what? What's 13 out of 33? 13 buttons. 39%? Does that seem right? So 40% chance to cast above 20? Yeah. And then you layer a bleed on top of that? And, and, they have to be at a much lower HP threshold. They have to be at 33% instead of 50. Yeah, I mean, he can crit, yes, for sure, but you can't count on that, right? The upgraded version is 0 to 50. That makes it better. That, that makes it much stronger. Because if you're comparing the chances to hit, uh to heal over 20% if we're just comparing it to the Plague Doctor. If this is at 50, that makes it way better. But, I mean, like, obviously, you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, you need a healer. 
you just do. You need a healer and you need a stress healer, or otherwise you're dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Demon's pull. Um, pulls two, adds a target. Very nice. I gotta understand something here. So, in our very first run, you guys, we were adding combos left, right, and center, whether or not the skill had it. I'm sure of it. And I don't know if they did like a sneaky patch or, or if something weird was going down. But like now, we're only ever comboing when we're putting the target on. Ever. So I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, vulnerability he hex adds uh, vulnerable and removes their dodge. This could be good against those... Uh, those chubby flying cherubs. You think the reposts were adding combos? Maybe, but then it should say that. It should it should it should say that somewhere in here. It should say that. Point blank shot? I No no. <laughs> no no. Listen. Listen very closely. When we had, when, before we had skills that could add the combo marker, specifically, we were getting combos, right? Could be friendship types, maybe. I'm just trying to figure out if I'm going crazy or not, because I'm pretty sure that's how it was going down, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm misremembering. You guys were all here. We could watch the tape. We could watch the tape. Some kids are probably like, what's tape? Um, what's this icon, you guys? What is this? Binding shadows. Uh, move forward and 50% chance to do something. So dismiss places markers when repose. Okay, so that has to be it then. Uh, the update yesterday was for, um, supposed to reduce like the squad chatter i can't press g at this screen this doesn't work here Torchlight? Mm, maybe we can check when we get off this screen unchecked power he uses it for moves like a combo just for himself oh okay like that that should be on here. No? <laughs> it should be on here, man. Okay. Unchecked power. We'll keep that in mind. Malediction. Low damage. Requires two of those unchecked powers. Target. When they get hit, they get bleed. One. One bleed. One blight. Or one burn. So this means that, uh, so it's not just adding, it's not just adding this. I think the way that this is saying is the target that you put malediction on, every time they get hit, they're going to receive that extra burn, bleed, or blight. Like the Hellion gets damage at low HP, it doesn't say on the screen, right? Yes, correct, exactly. So, and, and I can't, like, right-click into a character until they're made, so... Yeah. I wish that was just a little bit more obvious if there's, like, a character stat. Anamnesis. Hits everybody. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay. So, this is really good, because it can bleed everyone, but you have to play a totally different style of occultist. You have to put your occultist in the in like second position. But very cool. Uh very cool. You could do like binding shadows to move your way up and then bleed the whole group and then uh how do you move back? We don't have any movement back. 
that's the downside. They have to have somebody else that also moves, like the Jester, I guess, could try and help you there. Burning stars. Look at the damage. 8 to 16. 10% crit. Target anybody. Ignores block. Requires that self thing. Which seems fine if you're in like... If you're in third position... Oh, they have to be targeted. Or they have to be comboed there. And then here, it's only 50% chance. Yeah, okay. So getting this up over at two or higher is going to be tough. But yeah, still very strong. And then Chaotic Offering. Uh, I think that's a Dota skill. HP has to be above 15%. So you can... Oh, I see. Okay. So you can say, give me damage and give me that self burn thing. And then that's how you'll build that up from different positions. This is cool. Yeah, I like this occultist. This is really, really neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very cool. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. Excuse me. Oh. Sorry, I had such a busy day, you guys. I'm sorry if I, I've probably just been rambling for three hours, not, not even being sensical or, or forming sentences, but. Um, unchecked power. There we go. 33% chance per token of burn. Empower certain skills. Wait, wait. So is this is this saying that if I have two tokens on, I have a 66% chance to burn, to actually catch fire? That's the trade-off. I think so. I think so. All right. So uh, tomorrow afternoon we'll probably do another one. Uh, if I had to form a party right now. I'd put my leper in first position. I'd put my... I'd probably put my occultist in fourth. My jester in third. And then I'd probably take somebody like our highwayman as our second position. Um, the things that we would be sorely lacking compared to the to the previous parties would be like damage over time. I really only have slice off. Um, there's an open vein here we could unlock. But that's a pretty sketchy party, honestly. But I do want to just do a run with these three. I mean, I could bring the Plague Doctor, but I feel like there's too many overlaps and skills there, but the damage over time is certainly nice. I guess maybe I could argue to bring our grave robber for uh, some blight shenanigans. I don't know. We'll make a decision tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, we'll we'll pick names and stuff at the beginning of the next stream. So if you do want to uh, try and join the party, then uh, just join early. It'll probably start at around the same time as today. So 4 o'clock uh, Eastern time, 4 p.m. And we'll just go from there. Thank you guys so much. Really had a good time today. I hope you did as well. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye now.